Welcome back to L.A. Noir Vice City. This is the Black Ooh. Caesar, our first case in the desk of Vice. Phelps, welcome to Vice. Uh, hi, this happy to be here. I have girl. to cover up a, a, a scandal. <laughs> a was made to transfer you and look at Vice. who our bastard partner is. That bastard with Roy with his bastard face, desk, his uh, bastard uh, hat, uh, his uh, bastard uh, covered uh, bastard uh, jacket, that bastard. Uh, I thought we were done with him. Nah, not this bastard. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? <laughs> Oh, he's been ready to smack him across the face. Getting off a, to, off to a roaring start. So we got uh, yes, two sir. black dudes d who are dead on U.S. Army grade morphine. The morphine Ooh. that's probably been being spread across the city for the past little while now. And now because it's a drug case, it's a vice case. Okay. So, like, not just narcotics, but I mean, like, the underground, the underbelly of the criminal world. We're here to, to solve some things and all that. That may be the case. Yeah, you know. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings. To so I never considered bad, vice to be higher than homicide. It isn't. The lieutenant seems to think oh. we're doing okay. But he, the boss said we got a promotion. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Because so Roy pulled some one, strings so. and had us promoted <clears throat> to Vice. I mean, Vice is still good. Vice is still really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Homicide's a more cushy, cozy job. I can assure you I'm no war hero, detective. So he's got a nice car, a convertible. Ooh, I can't wait for it to get stolen by some of the junkies we're going to be chasing. Nah, they won't steal a car like this. Oh, nice Cadillac convertible. Look at that. This is our oh, this is our default car for Roy here while we're in Vice. Nice fast convertible. Oh god, it's not going to be for long. It's going to be impounded, no. turned yeah, into a giant cube of metal. Ah! Going back to my reckless driving again. <laughs> Feels good, got to oh, tell you. Good. I I was just thinking. I was like, this is going to drive him nuts if he keeps like having proper road etiquette. Nah, I was run into everything. There's a dispatch call, but. Mm, you wanna do mm. it? It's right there. No, because we're already here. Okay. We're already here at the crime scene. This is, a, this is already a bit of a long case, so I don't want to take too many needless distractions. Okay. Besides, there's a whole bunch of cops here. They can take care of it. No problem. 3.53 a.m.? Jesus. Around the corner, last door on the left. Okay, around the corner and last door on the left. Is it this? No, wait, doors are on the right in that case, so must be this way. I'm all done. Your show now. Is that the. Wait a minute. Where did it. Hmm? Which fucking door is it? Isn't this the last door on the. Maybe it's that one on the. Oh. Last there's another, door. There's another door all the way over there. On the left. Hiding. Brothers, Phelps, I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs, overdosed, been dead a couple of days. Oh, jeez. Government issue morphine. Couple we days. In Okinawa. So people so responded you based on smell. Take supply this pure. You know these guys? Well, Carruthers is the, the younger one, me, so he probably said, "Yeah, he's been dead a couple days." Oh, Looking okay. at the, the other one state of the body, I figured they'd be in rigor mortis right about now, but you know. I figure they'd be stiff, starting to rot a little bit. I mean, I can hear the bugs, so it obviously doesn't smell great in here. So who's supplying the drugs? But at least they're clothed. The one positive of going to advice. <laughs> no naked bodies. I just can't stand looking at that. <laughs> oh jeez. Those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold. But a dude over uh, overdosed on morphine. That's fine. Well, at least he didn't feel anything. The truth is, everyone wants a license to get a little dirty now and then. What? Our job is to keep it manageable. So Phelps is like, oh, there, there, there's morphine. We, we need to, we, we need to bring this in. And he's like, ah, eh, come on, bend the rules a little bit. No oh, good. 
A cop that bends the rules. Phelps cannot bend the rules. He is incapable of bending the rules. Let's take a look at this guy. What do we got here? A tourniquet and a couple of... Ooh. Yeesh. Jesus. Jam two morphine things in his arm. My god. Yeah, that's bad. That's powerful fucking morphine, too. So, there's a, there's a bunch of clues here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use an intuition point and show all the clues. Yeah. Yeah. What we got here? We got ourselves a... Looks like a wallet. Yep. A wallet! With a numbers slip? Small chance in life is probably better than no chance. It's like a lottery type thing, a pick three type thing, maybe? Pick three numbers? Huh. They'll do a lot of gambling in my time, so. Tyrone this belongs to Tyrone Anthony Lamont. Died young, unfortunately. Died very young. And what else we got? Actually, we need to look at this cup. Hmm. He had coffee. Black Caesar. The Black Caesar. I guess it's like a restaurant type thing across the street. Hmm. Got the table here. Got a note. Come to Black Caesar for a good time. Oh. Cherry, Bell, Win. A Bell and Win. Seems like something you'd get on a slot machine. You remember that forever, okay? Okay. I'm gonna count on you to remember that forever. Cherry, we Bell, got here? Win. Sheet music all in my head. Oh, good. That's piano. God, I thought if that was a string or wind God damn, for what? I don't think that's part of the song, Phelps. In fact, who were you mimicking? Oh, don't worry about it. He'll be a big hit in, like, 60 years. See, I love period dramas, but I also love intentional anachronisms. Like, you know, not like the ones that's like, oh, uh, he's eating, uh, uh he, he's Stop drinking a can of Coca-Cola, and they didn't Stop start making cans until the late 60s or something like that. Now I'm talking like, you know, there's just one guy in the background on his phone. <laughs> no one brings it up, no one mentions it, just, just it happens, so that the audience yeah. goes, wait a minute, what the fuck? Wait, what is that the fuck? Man, that guy have a fucking iPad? What the fuck? You know what? I think that would be great if there was a if there was a movie that was one hundred percent set in quote unquote the old times and you just have to like it's it's basically a moving I spy where you have to find the anachronisms. It's like you're watching a civil war documentary. Guy brings out like a high quality machine gun. And then uh General Cornwallis goes, Okay, Alexa. <laughs> This is the other guy, Cornwell so Eustace Tyree. It was true in your case. Cornell? Mm -hmm. Really? Kind of a corny name. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, Colonel. That man is dead. You killed him with your humor. Hmm. More Black Caesar. More morphine. Looking in here, it looks okay, like it's... Hmm. Must have been the easiest fix these two ever had. Yeah, this is just... It's a morphine. They just, you know, take it out of the box and just... <laughs> right in your arm. Another Ugh. cup from the Black Another Caesar. Special order from the Caesar. Boy, they love their popcorn from the Black Caesar. That's some I good mean, shit. You look at my place, you find wrappers from, you know, Burger King and Taco Bell everywhere in my room. <laughs> and also, of course, uh... Rejected and used... Things of morphine. Please, no. Weird. People love you, UDJ. Don't resort to morphine. It's with all of these. Whoa, what the? Well, shit. Hmm. I guess we know where they got their fix. All these. All these Black Caesar cups. And there's tape on them. And this one is especially special. Heavy for an empty cup. A little heavy because mm. underneath. <sighs> oh my god! Box of morphine. Book em. What do you know? Book them. 
Yeah, just book these a, dead put, assholes. Put, puts a handcuff on me. You know, <laughs> tries to drag him away, but his arm just kind of rips off. Oh, God! And final clue is another Black Caesar cup. To let you know oh, that they did a lot of morphine. And as Excuse soon as me. they couldn't feel their legs, they collapsed and went, Oh, God, I need more Black Caesar. I can't feel my brain. <laughs> Yeah, you ever feel like that your body's shutting down? <laughs> so, next stop is, well, the Black Caesar, right across the street. The Black Caesar Food Hut. It is a hut for food. Ooh. Right. Let's wrap this up. I know we don't have, have very many of them around our town, but I would love to stop at, like, just a corner place that could sell me really good food. We have, a we have a farmer's market that sometimes has Through people coming by and selling small. that kind of stuff. Yeah, see, that kind of stuff. I want to see more of that. Like, this this is just a hut. Help you? Oh, uh, number nine. Oh, uh, number 45, Lodge. Do you know that whole thing? No, I'll, I'll give you a dollar if you know that whole spiel. I can read off a script and... <laughs> That's cheating, though. <laughs> Get that That's well, he's out. Oh he's, my he's, god, he's running! He's running! He's running! Wow, that didn't take long. That was a short case. Well, alright. We got him. Book him. Go. Yeah, book him. <laughs> book him and the stiffs he came in on. Wait, what? You know, I'll, bet, I'll bet if it was just Roy, Roy would just arrest them and that'd be the end of it. But mm -hmm. Cole, he has to see things oh. through. I mean, you know him. On his very first case, it's like, someone got shot. Wait a minute, there's a gun in the window up on the roof. Let me go get that real quick. Oh, yeah, exactly. He will the, go the, the he will go whatever miles necessary. <laughs> even if he has to do parkour and jump off of ten-foot-long walls huh? here. And I bet you your partner's just waiting and is like, well, he'll bring him back to me. Yeah. <laughs> what a jackass he's like up smoked. <sighs> Fucking idiot. What a maroon. Get him. Get him. You're gonna, you're gonna find Roy kind of does his own thing. He doesn't give a shit about what you do. He's probably gonna kill this man. Fuck! Oh! oh not if I do it first! Wow! You picked the wrong cop, you and animal. there's Roy right up there. Alright, I keep forgetting how to fight. Just, Wait, he's just, already up hey, here? You, just, uh, how the hell does that work? You really want to dance? <laughs> how, did, how the hell did he beat you up here? He's fast. He's been here a lot longer than I have. And you just, yeah, yeah, you take that. Then I'll just, um, yes, I'll <laughs> punch you, and then I'll punch you again, and yeah, this is working. There. I can't wait for somebody to yell police brutality. So I'm trying to be as delicate as I can, but <laughs> nope. We we just want to knock him now. At least he didn't put a gun to his head and say, well, "Where are the drugs?" That's because I dropped my gun. <laughs> Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. So, what kind of uh, getup they got going on around here? Why would he dash here of all places? Still, don't give so I don't think it's very smart. I mean, if you're selling morphine and you're working at a restaurant, and the cops find you at a restaurant, would you run all the way to your house? Where the operation is going down. I mean, unless I had a panic button that just blew up my house, no. It's not, 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 not smart, because now we're here, and now the trail is getting even warmer, especially when we look in this briefcase. So, uh, oh. It's I was about to say, wow, that's a lot of morphine, but no, it's just a trumpet. It is a trumpet. Is going to be relevant. Well, I guess that's all that's in there. Or is it? I can respect a trumpet player, but what's inside? This thing! It's a mute. Mute, that's what they're called. Damn it. Okay. Let's see what. Oh, wait. What? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, Some, what's that in there? Hey! Oh. These numbers More slips number slips. A lot of these are showing up lately. Damn. Hmm. What about hmm. this? What's over here? Ah, oh, good. A piece of chalk. Oh, wait, no. Blue Room Jazz Club ticket. Hey, wait, haven't we been there before? We have been there before. Hmm. Hmm. What's in the cardboard box? Burgers! Oh. Look at all this fucking morphine! 
Holy fuck! Oh my god, he's going away for a long time. There's morphine shit popping up all over the place! Well... Still haven't found all the clues yet. Which is, must still be something in that case. Mm, one more time. Maybe inside the horn of the trumpet? That's what I'm thinking, but nope, it is just a trumpet. Okay. Turns out I gotta look at the back of the ticket. Maybe Morgan can give us so, Jermaine Jones. Show. We have a name, we have a place. We got a few leads to investigate. About time we heard what Fleetwood here has to say, Cole. So let's interview this dude. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. He's trying to be polite, but he's so angry. You sold the mm -hmm. drugs to I, I can see it in his face. I, I literally can see it in his face. It's like, I hope you have a nice day, <laughs> sir. I hope you drive safe, and I hope things go well for you for the rest of your career, sir. It's like Ice-T giving compliments in the harshest voice he has. <laughs> Yeah, this guy's lying. He says, I didn't know nothing about no morphine distribution when we Bullshit. got morphine distribution right here. Jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? Cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. Armstrong Edwards. I know Armstrong. Sounds like a jazz player. Strictly small time. Wrong, though. For Fleetwood. Who does he work for? Jermaine Jones. Oh, Jermaine we want... Jones. Oh, we want the big wig. That's the guy we're looking for, Jermaine Jones. Kind of reminded of uh, used car jingle around Ohio. Jermaine, Jermaine, remember the name. Spelled differently, though. No, 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 look, I've been cooperative, okay? Now you gotta help me some. Fleetwood, I'm going to speak personally to the judge on your behalf. A name, Fleetwood. Look, he's, he's a real slick. Stevie dude. Nicks. Wears a hat and swings a cane. Goes by the name of Merlin. All right, I ain't got a last name. See you at the station, Fleetwood. You're going to help We're me, We're just right? going to leave you here. Of course, kid. Now nah, he's got himself. some dudes taking him down there. I mean, he's a, he's a drug dealer. We got to take him in still. Can you see that Fleetwood True. gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. I like fresh pillows. Well, that well, worked out. Kind I'm of. just, I'm just thinking. Now that we're in Vice and we have to deal with possible drug lords, I've watched enough Breaking Bad to know that uh, drug lords don't take kindly to snitches, and he might be dead. Well. Mm, in fact, they don't take kindly to basically everybody, even the people they work with. I need an address well, Jones. there's a lot of you angles being worked agents. worked at here, you know. Mm -hmm. It's more than just Jermaine Jones doing the morphine. It's a bunch of other dudes Jermaine working with the morphine. Jones. There is a huge a shipment of morphine coming in. Mm -hmm. Thanks, ma'am. So, all right, so we got Jones's booking agency where we're going to find this Jeremiah Jones fella. But for now, we'll head back to our sweet ass car. And, well, we might as well go check out his booking agency. I mean, we got a name. Might as well go check it out. Off we go. Sounds good. I heard you were in the blue room the other night. Don't. Open your eyes! <laughs> you were in the blue room the other night. Open your eyes! I heard you were in the blue room. Dude, I wasn't! Uh, oh, crash! Oh. Been at home? In bed I was trying to wreck to change the subject. Where I go is your business. It couldn't have had Cole, to do for some reason, has been uh, going to that Blue Room Jazz Club. I don't know what you're talking about, Roy. But why is he dodging the questions? Ooh. Okay, we'll take. We'll see if we can take this dispatch call. Marlon Hopgood, your informer. He was my corroborating witness in the Bishop case. See, now I'm thinking there's an overarching plot. All right. Marlon. Where Cole Phelps is a drug lord. Sorry about that, are you? Made the case I think he's, uh... Oops! Oh, shit. Good job. Alright. All right. better. Uh, let's, uh... Yes, you know, uh oh, my, you've got a car. My old car was a bit more durable, you know. 
When I was in Homicide, I could, I could at least take three direct head-on collisions before it broke down. I mean, did you see how many people we had to raw off the road, though? We could run off so many more. <laughs> Cole Phillips is uh, going to this uh, shady jazz club. This is maybe not shady, but certainly in the red light district of L.A. Now, why would a good upstanding blue blood like Cole Phelps want to go to a place like that? He's probably not that good of a guy. Doesn't add up, if you ask me. He's Doesn't a bit of an up. asshole. I don't know if anybody else has noticed he's a bit of an asshole. Yeah. He's a bit, a bit of a prick. Like, you know, yeah, I'd prob I probably wouldn't, like, you know, kick him out of my house, but where the fuck is this... <clears throat> where is this thing at? What the... What the... What the... You want me to go all the way down there? Oh, fuck that. Fuck that, uh-uh. No <laughs> way. <laughs> fuck that. No, 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 no. Anyway. No, 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 no. We're gonna be moving on. Yeah, we're just... Yeah. That's How not does dispatch call you up and say, Hey, we got something close to your location. Whatever. Yeah, it's like I'm up in Cleveland. You know, I'm driving around doing my uh, my uh, patrol, and I get a call saying, Oh, we, we got a 1018 in uh, Toledo right now. I d I'm nowhere be, close to that. Could be at least a five-hour drive over there. Exactly, and by that time, somebody's, you know, dead. The car has been stolen. The money's gone. It's not even that, fucking bother. Maybe it's the intern. Maybe it's the new guy over in, over in dispatch. He's, um, uh, Mr. Cole Phelps, sir. Uh, we have a a, a situation Ooh, over in uh, a, like yeah. uh, three towns over. What do you got? Oh! Yeah, yeah, get it, yeah, get it. I, s I saw that, and at first I thought it was a hot dog mobile, because it it sort of looks like it. Hey, Cole, Give me the hot dog. Public, huh? Yes, we could drive the hot dog. It's an extermination truck. It's strong, but it's slow. Well, now that we have a van like this, let's drive it out into the desert, and it's, it's time to cook. Let's go. This is a fuel truck. We definitely don't want to cook in this. <laughs> Boom! Ah, that's one way to take care of two dickheads. Can't go into cinematic mode in this. I wonder why. Maybe because when you're driving a car like this, it's already cinematic. You're basically driving a tank. Yeah, you all better watch out. <laughs> we. Oh, nearly clipped it. Oh, the turning is terrible on this thing, too. <laughs> Maybe that's how it's become more cinematic. Oh, man. Nah, I gotta go in the back in order to... Alright, hang on. I'll just you go actually this took way. out an indestructible fence! I did? Or, or a bench. Sorry, that was a bench. Never mind. It was a, it was a bench. Fences are still indestructible. Alright, here we are. Jones Booking Agency. It's the fuzz. Hide all the morphine. Bring out place. the cocaine. You know, I, I want to make an illegal operation. It's going to be... But uh, my uh, cover is it's going to be a booking agency combined with a culinary artistry school. So, uh, you too can learn how to cook the books. Here we are. Jermaine Jones, 238. Hmm. Alright, sweet 238. That's where we can find Jermaine Jones. Alright. So, 238, oh, that's not it. 230, oh, that's not it either. 230, that's still not it. 230, that's Are not it. Are you in it, a nightmare which, right now? <laughs> this is hey, there it is. Hey, yeah, I opened the door for you, Phelps. We'll let you in. Those two are hurt. He just Boys whacked out on morphine already. What kind of act are you supposed to be? <laughs> and here is Jermaine Jones. Jermaine Jones, don't bother getting up. Your flunky Fleetwood Morgan just snitched you out. I was And planning. he's dead. Now you think you could tell me who the hell you are? L we call him Mac. You'd like to take a look he kind of does his own thing. He does whatever he wants. So we told Fleetwood you Mac he can go his own way. No, do we need one? You're on fire today. Thank you. Search the place, Cole. They had me about two syringes of morphine a day, so I'm feeling pretty good. Scott Let's Phantom. see, let's dig Ooh. through the office of Ernie Hudson radio. here. Short wave, AM, and FM. It's a radio. Wow. 
Yeah, just go here to beep. Turn that on. And turning on copywritten music. Da 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 da. Okay. Switch over here to FM. And over here, or just. Uh, 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 there we go. How the fuck did you know that? I didn't. No wonder this thing is sounding a little muffled. What? Brandon, Wilt. Then how the hell did that work? There's probably a clue somewhere. You heard the uh, boss. Okay. We got a couple of psychic detectives here. <laughs> Seriously! How the hell like, did I can, you know to do that? It's like I can tell your name starts with a J. Is it John? Jeremy? Jordan? Jermaine? Sit tight, asshole. Pretend you're at the parlor getting your name. Asshole. Done. Cole. You better search through that stuff in the radio before you brace our friend here. So what kind of stuff is he hiding in a radio? <laughs> I mean, anything. I hope nobody wants to listen to the, uh, church music channel. Alright, we got something for Ramez removals. Hmm. So even though Jay Jones is the head of maybe this little operation, he's still getting his deliveries from somebody else. That's right. Ooh, that's a lot of money. That's, that's cash! That is money! But we're gonna say we didn't find any because I'm just gonna pocket this. Just, yep. Yeah. <laughs> a fresh, unused one. Mm -hmm. Another fucking lottery ticket type thing. Thursday! Why is everybody betting around here? Especially in this drug ring, are they betting on who's going to get caught first? That's what people do, they just bet. Vegas hadn't been invented yet, so they have to do something somehow. Right. And a bunch of weed, too, yeah, anyway. Yeah, that too. I don't know why right. they didn't just smoke all the dope instead of just kill each other on morphine, but hey, what do I know? Where'd you get the dank kush, sir? That's brick weed, you don't want that shit. Popcorn washed down with morphine. You offering me a deal? I have a pet judge who hates blacks. Oh, come on! Alright. It's part of the times. It's part of the times. It's Rockstar. It's Rockstar. It's part of the games and Rockstar. Okay. Just want to hit that bastard with a thing of rebar, you know? Just, hey, Roy, could you be a little more PC? Who supplies the morphine? I don't know nothing so, about that. So, who's the supplier of the morphine? You don't know nothing? Yeah, you're a fucking liar. I think you and your <laughs> cronies are responsible for the theft from the wharves. If you want to save your oh skin, dear. stop lying to us, Jones. So, I look like some kind of criminal genius to you. Is that what he's saying, motherfucker? I mean, you are very well dressed, I'll give you that. You're a criminal, and you might be a genius, so I'd say that uh, criminal genius might go hand in hand. So we make you for all of it. You're the fall guy from Mickey Cohen. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a colored man. You see any what does race have to do with any of this stuff? It's like, you're gonna be the fall guy for this mafia dude. It's like, I'm black. You see any any, any, any Jews around here? It's not gonna work. I mean. Mickey's dipshit brother in law. Oh, good. We're getting into, like, code names. Now this can be more like Dick Tracy. There is no leak. You're wasting your time. Go ask Maddie the Hatter. I pressed the wrong button. You fool! I am a fool. Are you gonna put that in writing, asshole? But whatever, this guy is confident and competent enough. You know, I don't think I could take him in a fight. I bought a radio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all. You bought a radio, huh? I doubt that. Tell them that we want a special bookcase or wardrobe to hide our I would laugh if you went through an entire case and just believed everything. Oh, yeah, you're telling the truth. Oh, yeah, you're an upstanding person. Maybe I should try Why do you have a gun to my head? Just assume everybody's telling the truth. Exactly, botch everything. All right, Ooh. now we need, now you're going to jail because you said Abbott and Costello were unfunny. <laughs> Abbott and Costello is basically how I got my start in comedy. You fucker don't know anything about good classic comedy. Ah, oh, yes, we're learning about Lenny the Fink and his sister Penny the Pink. We're gonna book them all. 
And Larry the Stink. We got him. We could do the cl the uh, classic sketch in like a drug trade. It's like, all right, so we need to peddle this morphine. We got uh, who making the delivery. We got what making the sale. And we have I don't know working the ledger. Who's I don't care? What's their job? Care. He works the ledger. He one who writes everything now. Keeps the receipts, all that. Works the numbers. Looks that way. All right, but the mob wants let's head to the place where these uh, lottery numbers are coming from, but first, a quick phone call. Phelps, batch 1247. Actually, it's a quarter to eight. Detective. I need an address for Ramez removals. That's Ramez, R-A-M-E-Z. Just checking. So we got a address for Remez Removals, owned by Remez, and he's at Remez. He's a guy who's probably supplying the morphine to all these dudes. Excellent. At least, at, or at least a very, very big supplier. So let's keep going in our gigantic hot dog-looking exterminator truck. Oh, this is gonna take some time. 